playing a real human <laughs> book this is based on I mean how much pressure does that put on your shoulders I mean I I it, I got to sort of cheat around that a little bit right because um you know the article is what we are is really what we're matching when it comes to the Jessica Pressler Vivian Kent world mm -hmm. um uh, my my character is Vivian Kent who, who is a fictional inspired version of uh Jessica and um and so yeah I got to I didn't have the the task this time of exactly matching um because it was sort of done around uh, uh around the world that that's you know my that i was the protagonist of that story um so yeah I, I i kind of just got to to gain a whole lot without feeling a whole ton of restriction <laughs> right did you did you get to talk to her did you did you have a uh, lot of conversation yeah she co-produces the show and um and on the table reads we would we would you know check in with each other and touch base and um i read I read her. I read her copious notes, and I'm so grateful to her for making those accessible to to Shonda and myself. And um, and um, I I also you know made sure to read as many of her other published articles as I could because it just mm -hmm. gave me that much more of a of a fabric to work with when when understanding her voice. I felt like I felt like the word was really what. Vivian, my character, cares about. And so that was what was going to ground me. Going into play real life characters, does that put additional, not characters, real life people, does that put additional weight on your shoulders? Yes. It absolutely. definitely literally did for Laverne. <laughs> I, um, I, I was, Casey Duke is a personal trainer and it, this is the first job I've had where I, it, where I need to be in a certain amount of shape to like be convincing. Like I can't have my gut hanging out like it is right now, um, playing this character who like, you know, trains people for a living. So I, you know, I was living in LA, but tr we shot in New York. So every time I would go to LA, I hate hotel gyms. So I started doing r workouts in my hotel room. So I traveled with five and 10 pound weight. So oh, wow. literally, it was weight on my shoulders, but um, mm -hmm. I I got to meet Casey and I got to you know train with her and she I had a four hour lunch with her where she shared her life story with me. What a life! What a human being! And I hope she's happy with what we've done with her and yes and her story. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of pressure because she's a real life person. It's not just my imagination. It's like, yeah. and a lot of people know Casey. She's trained everyone from Lindsay Washington to Lenny Kravitz to Dakota Johnson, BB Rex. Everyone knows her. Um, everyone knows um, Casey. Well, not you know in the industry that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for you, and for you, Katie, playing uh, Rebecca. Yeah, Rachel. But sorry, mm -hmm. that's I fine. Because I remember when she calls her Becky. That's what yeah. I no, it, yeah. She calls her Karen. <laughs> she calls her Becky. She calls all these things. Um, I did not meet Rachel. Um, I'm so happy with that choice. Um, for me, it was just very much um, the character that Shonda created on the page was what I mostly focused on. And I actually based her on somebody else that I know. Oh, and again, I just feel like, you know, I wasn't playing Jackie O. I wasn't doing my best impression of someone that anyone knows. And um, this is a story, right? I mean, yes, it's like each episode says, some of it is truth and some of it is not. So for me, I just really, the character was such a product of the situation she was in because it's not like we're re meeting Rachel 10 years ago and it's not like we're meeting Rachel now. On this series, we're only meeting Rachel at the worst time of her life. <laughs> 